Cyprian of Carthage, De Dominica Ratione, Episode 5. Yam praedixerat horam venire, quando veri adoratores adorarent patrem in spiritu et veritate, et in plebit quod ante promisit, ut qui, spiritum et veritatem de eius sanctificatione percepimus, de traditione quoque eius vere et spiritaliter adoremus. Cyprian now continues his discussion of what it is to pray and how Christ had taught us to pray. He says, Yam, now, praedixerat. This is the verb praedico, and as you can see, it is in the third singular, pluperfect, indicative, and active. Now, he had foretold, he had said beforehand, praedico, that, and so we have oratio obliqua, indirect statement, that horram venire, that the hour was coming. Now, this present infinitive, venire, shows time contemporaneous or simultaneous with the main verb, namely with praedixerat. So, at the time that Christ had said it in the past, he was saying that the time was right then coming. The hour was coming when weary adoratores, true worshippers, would worship, adorarent, adoratores adorarent, would worship the Father, Patrim here is the object, of course, of adorarent, and adorarent is third plural. It is imperfect, it is subjunctive and active. They would worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And he fulfilled in playwit. This, of course, is a perfect tense. Christ is still the, still the subject. He fulfilled, and the object is, quote, ante promisit, that which, quote, previously, he promised another perfect tense, this one from pro and mito, to send ahead, to send before, to promise. And here is what he had before promised. Ut qui, etc. Namely that qui, now qui goes through per capimus, and adoremus is patterning with ut. If you recall a previous episode, this is a very similar structure to what Cyprian has done before, a very similar construction. That we who, and I know to say we because I can see per capimus is first plural, that we who receive or partake of the Spirit and truth from his sanctification, we who have received or who have been made partakers in, and this is from the verb per kipio, to perceive, to take part in, that we would worship adoremus. And this is first plural, present, subjunctive, and active, that we would worship him, de traditione, quoque eus, truly and spiritually. Notice this picks up spiritu et veritate from the previous sentence, and spiritum et veritatem as well. We would worship him also according to his traditione, according to what he has passed down or handed down to us, his tradition. This, of course, from the verb trans do, or better yet, tra, do, to hand down or to hand over. So we see that Cyprian is ringing some changes on these words, spiritu et veritate, spiritum et veritatem, so they're nouns in a different case, and finally, vere et spiritaliter, these are adverbs. Now here we have a coin representing the image of Valerian. This is the emperor under whom Cyprian died during the Valerian persecutions of 258.